Hi folks, I really hope you're well. This is Dr. Lawrence Woods from The Spinery and I'm here in the middle of Germany somewhere. Uh, I came over to visit one of my colleagues. Kind of interesting day. Uh, I went into his office and his, his secretary was whispering. The lights were dimmed down. As I approached him, I could tell he wasn't well. And here's a guy who's been suffering. I've known him for 10 years. He's been suffering with chronic headaches for the last 10 years. Nothing medical. He's had all the tests. And I just absolutely had enough of it. I, I said, listen, listen, listen to me for once in your life. Listen to me about your health. I went to his house. I went through everything with him. And I think we solved the problem. And I'm going to share that with you here today. So off I went to his house. And let me give you a little bit of backstory here. I've been practicing for many years. And I've had phenomenal results treating headaches. And I pretty much exclusively attribute this to what I'm about to share with you today. Day, and these methods should work for most of you. Even if you don't suffer with headaches, you want to keep this video just in case you do get headaches someday or you know somebody who suffers with headaches because they're really going to love you with these tips that I'm about to share with you. And of course, I'm going to have everything timestamped below and uh, let's just get right to this video. Headaches are not only irritating, they can literally ruin your life if not dealt with properly. Headaches are really common. And according to the World Health Organization, nearly half the population experience a headache at least once a year, making it the most common disorder of the nervous system. And generally treatment for those suffering with headaches are typically over-the-counter medications for relief. There are other options, not only for treatment, but those who want to circumvent headaches in the first place. Okay, let's start with the labels or what I call shop talk and what the experts classify as the most common types of headaches. Most common types are of course tension headaches affecting 70% of some populations and ten tension headaches are a result of stress or musculoskeletal problems. And if you read my book, it explains the mechanism for this uh, and it's primarily due to poor posture. And these types of headaches feel like pressure or a tight band around your head. And most of these resolve within a few hours, but chronic cases can last for ever, it seems like, and they're disabling. And there's other types such as migraines, or as they say in Ireland, migraine, which uh, triggers in your brain and causes the release of a pain producing inflammatory substances around the nerves and your blood vessels in your head. The third type would be cluster headaches, which is a uh, describes a brief but extremely severe headaches that occur frequently. And the thing with cluster headaches, it's usually around the eyes. And then the last one, and this is kind of crazy sounding, it's medication overuse headaches, which is ironically caused by chronic use of headache medication. So there are many points to my method. And the first point is looking at avoiding headaches in the first place. Preventing a headache is even better than treating one. So you want to start by avoiding anything that could possibly trigger a headache. And these triggers can vary from person to person, but most of these triggers are foods. So I go to his house, I open up his kitchen cabinets, and I start looking through all his foods. And I see everything, everything he's eaten, everything is, all his foods are a potential trigger. And so here's my advice to you and my advice to him was we eliminated all these foods that were triggers, just cut them out for a bit and, and, and not forever, but for a short period of time until the headaches stop. And then we introduce these foods one at a time back into your diet to see if that is the culprit. So let's look at the common food triggers for headaches, including inflammatory inducing foods like cured meats and aged cheeses. And that's about like all they eat here. Uh, and he ate mostly like Gruber mit Wurst, uh, Balnell Bewurst, and Balen Lieberwurst. Oh, and folks never eat swine. Ugh. Wash for in Chavant. Uh, aged cheeses, including like uh, Gargonzola, uh, Camembert, Cheddar. And what's the big one here in, in Germany? It's called, oh yeah, uh, Berkevish. Alcohol, especially wine. Uh, we saw that he consumed every night. There were bottles everywhere. I thought he would drink beer, but it was Merlot. I hate Merlot. Oh, and here's one you probably never thought about. If you're suffering with asthma, that too could be the cause of your headaches. Typically headaches and asthma are caused by inflammation. And so if you have headaches, it's the blood vessels uh, for headaches that were inflamed. If you have asthma, it's the airways or bronchial tubes which are inflamed. So if you're one of the poor sufferers who has both asthma and headaches, uh, researchers suggest that maybe being a little bit more aggressive might be the answer. And so one thing would be to optimize your vitamin D or vitamin D levels. And this is absolutely crucial, which means get it more out in the sun, get more in the sun, at least 20 minutes a day, or you can take D3 with K2. Other vitamin deficiencies have been linked to headaches, and these include like the B vitamins, B2, B6, B12, and also folic acid. 
Not all treatments work the same for everyone, which it might be worth your while to investigate a variety of different therapies. And some of these treatments may seem odd, but they can actually provide fast relief. Since the beginning of time, people from all over the world have been using herbs to treat headaches. And a great example of this would be Rodelia. Rodelia is incredibly helpful for someone who suffers with a tension headache because it increases the levels of serotonin. And this is important when dealing with headaches and it also makes you feel great. You should also try a combination of fever few and ginger, but this is used for migraine pain or as they say in Ireland migraine and some people achieve this by just chewing on raw ginger which is said to give instant relief. Chamomile tea is another option especially for the relief again of tension headaches however only use pure chamomile tea bags when you use this remedy. Another great tip would be coriander sea tea and coriander sea tea has both anti-inflammatory and anti-pain relieving effects. Something to note though, when you're, if you're going to use coriander seed tea, let it steep for at least 10 minutes before consuming and try not to add anything like citrus or sweeteners since this could interfere with its effectiveness. Applying pressure or massaging your headache seems also to be a great place to start for relief of pain. You can do this by applying pressure to your head using a headband or a bandana, which can quickly reduce headache pain. And this works because the applied pressure can help reduce the blood flow to your scalp, which ultimately means less blood flow to to the pounding blood vessels in your head. You can also achieve this similarly by gently trying to massage your, your temples, your neck, the base of your neck, your scalp, and this can help relieve a tension headache. However, if tension is causing your pain, if it's the direct cause of your pain, consider trying some stretches that are specifically designed for tension headaches. For one thing, you can stretch these muscles out in here in the front, they're called the sternocleidomastoid, and you can just gently just tease these out with your fingertips, just gently just stretch this side on the, on the left and then do the same on the right or you could take your fingertips and just gently stretch the, the where the base of your skull meets your spine the, what they call the suboccipital muscles you can just gently in, in circular motions just round the just work these muscles out back in here and that works really well as well here's another one did you know that soaking your feet in warm water is an ancient method that actually works the idea is to draw blood to your lower extremities to reduce the blood vessel pressure in your head. And you can do this really simply by filling your tub full of hot water. You can add things like magnesium salts or even mustard power to give it that extra kick. Then soak your feet for about 30 minutes and then finish with a towel dry. Who would ever guess that one way to cure your headache would be through your feet? As I mentioned earlier, headache pain may be derived from swollen blood vessels. And one quick remedy, and this sounds crazy, is but it's to drink a cup of coffee. And it, it's surprising, I know, but coffee can help constrict. It's a vasoconstrictor. The blood vessels lead into your head, helping relieve pain. And if you don't like coffee, you can try ginger tea, which works well, or as I mentioned earlier, coriander seed tea. Now here's another one. Although I'm not exactly an expert on essential oils, I do know that they carry biologically active volatile compounds in flowers and plants in highly concentrated forms and these compounds appear to help with headaches and there are different herbs that are said to work with different types of headaches for example my patients all tell me that peppermint works best for tension headaches especially if you take a drop of it and rub it into the area it hurts uh, peppermint and basil works best for migraines and also rosemary rosemary is a general all purpose headache pain reliever. Learning how to understand your body so you know how to respond naturally to headache pain works great too. And this is called biofeedback and it is performed by electric sensors that track your body's primary functions such as your temperature, your blood pressure, your heart rate, and your muscle tension. And then the data is sent back to a computer and to the patient in the form of computer images and sounds. And these images and sounds are ultimately meant to teach you how to prevent headaches from occurring by learning to understand and control what your body is telling you. I know it sounds like a mouthful, but here, here's an example. If you see that your heart rate is going up, and you see that on the screen, you might try to slow down your breathing, right? Does that make sense? And researchers say that headache therapy, such as biofeedback, may end up being more cost-effective than purchasing prescription medication and probably much safer over time. Furthermore, regular exercise can reduce the frequency and intensity of headaches and migraines. And this is because when you exercise, your body releases uh, endorphins, which are the body's natural painkillers and also gets the blood pumping, gets the blood flowing, which is really important. So consider things like cycling, uh, gentle running, swimming, or even fast-paced walking to reduce pain. Even a quick cardio workout may be enough to halt 
the headache from progressing. And this is because it triggers the, the release of pain reducing neurotransmitters. And similarly, uh, if you get migraines, you want to consider maybe even trying yoga because if you combine breathing exercises with physical poses and meditation, you may feel more relaxed and your muscle tension, your body might feel a heck of a lot better. That brings me to my next point, is, which is that tension might be the direct cause of your headache in the first place, which is why according to a recent research paper, any sort of relaxation technique, such as like deep breathing or using mental imagery or listening to relaxing music might give you relief. Something that very few people consider is that blue or bright lights might trigger a headache. And for this, I recommend an app called Flux, which will work on all your media devices or my personal favorite is to pick up a pair of blue blocking glasses and you can find these glasses pretty much anywhere on the internet. You may need to regenerate your cellular batteries to eliminate the underlying cause of your headache. Your cells have these things called mitochondria, which are the tiny motor of the cells, and they may, may need more energy, and a quick way to achieve this is by taking a supplement called coenzyme Q10, or also known as ubiquinol, and this tends to work great for most people. About half the people with three current headaches are deficient in magnesium, so increasing your consumption of uh, dark leafy green vegetables, which are high in magnesium, may correct the direct cause of your headaches. There are so many options you can try as well. Again, another colossal one that most people never even think about is practicing proper posture. Uh, make great posture part of your everyday workout. Uh, it makes all the difference in the world in terms of uh, frequency and severity of headaches. However, if chronic headaches persist, even after you tried all the natural options that I discussed in this video, Maybe you should seek out a natural health care provider who can help you determine and resolve the underlying issues that might be there.